It is not too soon to start thinking about mailing those holiday cards and packages this year. There are some changes to when you must have your mail to ensure delivery by Christmas. Here to help us out is Eva Jackson. She's with the United States Postal Service out of San Diego area. Out of San Diego. You drove in just for us. I did. I love, I love Palm Springs, Palm Desert. Perfect. A great excuse to be yes, here. Yes, it was a beautiful drive. You know, the holidays, you, you want to get those packages and they got to get there on the right time. Uh, you, the dates are very important because if you don't make the deadline, you could be out of luck. Right. So if you're going to mail using ground, you need to have your packages in the mail by December 14th. If you're mailing first class mail or cards and letters, uh, the 20th. And if you're using priority mail, also the 20th, which are these free boxes at the post office. And Priority Express for those last minute procrastinators, December 22nd. And that really costs you money, though. It's to a little do bit that. more expensive. It's yes. a lot more expensive. Yes. Let's be so it's good that you get it in much sooner than right. rather than later. So about packing, the worst thing you can can happen to you is you're at the post office and people have their gifts and they don't have the boxes, they don't have it put in there. Encourage them to please have it all together before you get to the counter. Well, it helps everybody if you have your packages all wrapped up and addressed um, and ready to go when you get to the counter. It just helps move the line along. But you also want to package it correctly so that it gets to its destination safely. Yeah, because you don't want to then come back and say, gee, I'm sorry that, that right. uh, heirloom broke. Right. So there's a couple things you need to, to do. Make sure that the shipping container you use is sturdy and large enough for the contents, plus cushioning. You always want to use cushioning, whether it's the bubble wrap or the styrofoam the peanuts. peanuts. Uh -huh. Or if you run out of that, it's late at night, you're still packing, and the stores are closed. Popcorn. No salt, really? no butter. Oh, please. Hair pop popcorn <laughs> is just as great as these. In fact, really? it's better because it's environmentally friendly. That's true. And, and the folks getting the package can snack on that right. while they or enjoy the Or when prize. you're wrapping, if you happen to get hungry, you can, you know, put a piece in and eat wow, a piece. Wow, that's really interesting. A couple other things. If you're sending toys and they're battery operated, you want to take out the batteries and just wrap them separately. Yeah. Sometimes the packages jiggle around and, and toys will turn on and when they start making noises and hopping around our workroom floor, we get a little concerned. Uh, I would imagine, get a little yeah. jittery. Yeah. If you're going to mail something that's fragile, make sure you wrap it in bubble wrap tissue, put it inside a sturdy little box. Good idea. You could put a nice ribbon on that and then put it inside the larger box. Okay. If you're mailing a picture frame, with a picture, you want to take the glass out, wrap that separate. Okay, good in idea. In the event that the glass breaks, it won't destroy. Is that you? That's me and my oldest son. How nice is that? <laughs> Morning, Justin. Uh, yeah, how nice is that? Very nice. <laughs> so anyway, take out the glass, wrap it separately, and then package it all together. Okay. Have you ever been late with the deadline yourself? Of course oh, that's, not. That's a yes. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now, you know, when it gets to the point where you've got something glass, as you mentioned, fragile, mm -hmm. you've got to be really very careful and extra careful about how you pack it as well. Right. What about for folks who have uh, perhaps maybe people in the military or they're sending internationally to maybe France or, you know, London, wherever? Um, those deadlines, are, are those sooner? They are sooner. Um, we can get those to you and you can put them up on, on your website. Um, but they are sooner. APO, FPO is uh, pretty this, this week, basically. Okay, so, um, yeah. so you if you don't have it done, then in. you're going to be right. late. But you can always look forward to it as it's a New Year's gift as well. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. You know what? I think gifts are always welcome at any time of the year right whether you get them or not all right well the deadlines are here and we thank you so much for the, the uh, wonderful for tips me. i think the popcorn thing's the best hungry <laughs> thank you i am <laughs> all right <laughs>